You know what's crazy? I haven't talked about craft in a while, but I really like the platform and I figured I'd talk about it because when it comes to craft versus Notion, this has been something that is not a huge debate necessarily, but like you're a Mac user who wants to take notes, um, you could consider craft. You could also consider Notion. You know, it's big in both spaces. So which would you prefer to use? I obviously have an entire system built out. I also have a course called Mastering Notion, if you wanna check that out, as well as a myriad of different templates where if you buy one of the premium ones, you essentially get the course for free. If not, you can just check it out on Skillshare. It's pretty cool. Regardless, enough plugs. If I end up interacting with a Notion page, it's very simple and easy for me to understand how it works. However, for many of you, you might not. I usually don't have the sidebar locked, but for the purposes of this video, I'm gonna show you with it locked. So Notion is essentially a collection of pages. And if you put a group of pages into a, another collective, you can call that a database. And then those databases essentially make up the ways that we interact with data on a more nuanced project management type level in Notion. However, this tool can simply just be a note-taking machine. At the top of your screen, you'll see that there is the option to write something like daily agenda, and then Notion usually has a couple of really good options here to showcase its templates. Like this is a weekly agenda or plan. This is like a journal prompt. So this is what the page could look like with some color to it. And then with it, there's a slash function command where you can essentially use any of these different items to make a to-do list for things like taking out the trash. You can then do slash embed and embed pretty much anything. And it's a very basic text editor with the option to not only do the slash for all these different headings and whatnot, but also use markdown. So for example, a dash with a space then leads to a bullet points. Two brackets then with a space leads to a to-do block. A caret with a space is a toggle block. All these different things function very easily inside of Notion. And at the top of any page, you can add a icon in order to showcase this as an emoji or any custom icons as well inside of here. And then if you wanna add a cover to make it all pretty, it has Unsplash, which is a third party like image provider, but you can also upload your own or pick from the gallery here. And then on top of that, you can change the cover position, make it look better for your needs, wherever you want it to be. And then the page size can be set to full width, it can be locked, it can be shared in basic senses, it can be turned into a wiki, it can even be turned into a database. And with those databases, a lot of cool automation functionality exists. So it's fine for a great note taking app, honestly, uh, on desktop especially, I would say the mobile experience is dog water, don't use it if you wanna stay sane. But for the intensive purposes of this video, you'll notice that Craft has a lot of similar feels to it, right? Well, Notion doesn't necessarily have an aggregated view of like your daily note ticking. If you wanna just make a new document real quick, it pretty much looks like a mildly different version, right? I can take this, you see the page title. Okay, let's do daily agenda, for example. And I can recreate pretty much the same feel to this. So if I go here, you'll notice that there is the ability to add to this page. If you click page style, you can change the cover image. You can auto style it to pick a bunch of different things like, ooh, let's do that as a background. This is a little bit different. Granted, like the fact that it like sits in the middle like this is cool. You can change to have a cover image or not. Unsplash is built in as well, which is cool. I like that. You can have the page not have a background at all. You can just have it be like this. Advanced settings are pretty cool. You can make a wide page as well, similar to what you have in Notion. So it essentially seems like it's functioning the same way, right? Sidebar is toggable and untoggable. Something that's interesting though, when I do end up doing markdown functionalities, this is a test task. It ends up adding all the different tasks that are there basically via the checkbox. So another one into this sidebar of tasks. So I like that, it's interesting because it takes notes and then also has like that sort of task management component for when you're signifying that it's a note. Uh, if I want to, I can press that slash and it has the same similar like, oh, I can make a list, I can do a toggle block, like toggle block. I can do slash and do colors and change this is written in navy blue. 
but I can highlight it and change the highlighting to like green. You can do the exact same stuff in Notion. You know, I can take this guy, I can highlight it with blue, but have the text be yellow. One or the other, not both, key distinction. Craft has a little bit better of color versatility. And then another thing that Notion can't do that Craft can do just from a note taking standpoint, you might be thinking, is it somewhere in all of these backslashes? It is not. It is not in the slash functionality as much as it's in, well, Notion as databases, Craft as whiteboards, which I think is really cool. Like if Notion had this, I'd get an iPad yesterday. But since from a sunk cost standpoint, I'm stuck with this dang thing, I cannot do that. So it's kind of poopy. But seriously, I can inside of this uh, draw in it. I can drag this around uh, similar to the blocks inside of Notion. You can drag things around very easily You can move this. Uh, it's almost like a similar block setting system where I can just drag stuff around. But for all intents and purposes, uh, I would just open this up. All right. And then from there, I draw. So this is the scribble function. And obviously that looks so pretty. If you're questioning how pretty this looks, we have a problem. No, but seriously, uh, you can take multiple squares, grab some arrows, all right? Another one, make another square. Maybe say, you know what? I want these to go together. Drag it, it snaps, very basic, but they're making progress. And since this is a primarily note-taking app, this is a big leg up on Notion. I got a sticky note over here. I can say, this is sticky, all right? If I had a little iPad right now, I would whip that thing out and just start drawing with my Apple Pencil, because this is sick. The ability to connect things and write stuff out, truly, it is all you kind of need, brother. The colors can be adjusted on the color wheel over here, and you can do that for pretty much anything. So going back to the agenda, simple as clicking that in here. And while there are some basic styling differences, I'd say Notion and Craft are pretty similar. They just have some aesthetic differences. There's databases inside of Notion, whereas Craft has some interesting functionality like this uh, checkbox situation, but it's, it's just more like pages that maybe have some data that's kind of aggregated naturally, but no, there's no, there's no databases, which honestly, not bad. I made a lot of videos on this app a couple years ago and I'm considering making more. So if you're interested in hearing more about the difference between these two products and some workflows that maybe can go together, let me know. I'm also thinking like, do I make a whole video on craft whiteboards? Maybe, maybe not. So if you want to see a more in-depth difference between the two of these, please let me know. But the last thing I'll say is if Notion had a present mode, this would be nice for calls. You got to get that. Give it to me for sales calls, please. I want to show my portfolio in a little nicer way than what it has currently. With that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to leave a like and comment, and we'll see you after watching this one, how to improve your skills using productivity tools even more.